Hello and welcome once again to Nomad's World. This is Creativerse. And today we're going to try and find some uh, obsidian. I haven't done anything really since the last video. Uh, I, uh, that was last night. Got a little sleep. Came back. I'm feeling better. Um, the first thing I noticed when I came to this screen, there's a uh, I went. I, the one thing I did do is I went through the store options, and there was some free stuff, and I I grabbed that. Um, and you know there was an email thing and and all that. But uh, I grabbed that stuff, and then I noticed that this. I was looking at this screen here. Uh, I got this uh, from the store, and uh, I I didn't mess with the video, and I'm not messing with these here. Uh, but I noticed free chests, so I clicked on it and I got some stuff. Uh, and then it said, you know, like basically two hours, and uh, or, or just under that. And um, so I thought, all right, you know, so every couple of hours I can come in here and maybe get an, a chest. Uh, let's uh, take a look at what we got. Um, takes a little bit to load. Uh, Let's see, the, the first one gave me a um, four, uh, four super extractors, all right? So I was kind of like, oh, that's not bad, you know? And then I got to thinking about some of the things that we had seen down in the, in the hole. Uh, there was the stalactites or stalagmites, I don't remember which. Um, and uh, I thought, well, maybe... Uh, is it uh, something that I can um, oh, over this way? Uh, is it something that uh, I can use the super extractor on? And uh, let's see, let's uh, we got the bundles here that we obtained. Uh, there was still forbidden. So it looks like it's just a bunch of building stuff. Uh, okay. Uh, let's claim that. And we'll claim this. See, super extractors. I got two more. And some health potions. I don't know what the love potions do. I, you know, maybe that's something for multiplayer. Um, Alright. A couple of potions. Nice. Um, let's go out. Let's see, we've got one. Looking down at our quests, we got one new item. Uh, what is this? A lantern? I wonder if that's better than the torches. Um, speed potion. if that's uh, just speeds you up or if it deals with some stamina. So uh, I got on the Wicca and the Wicca was mentioning um, that obsidian is mostly found on the fossil layer. Now I don't, I've already collected all the fossils uh, that were down here and I don't, I don't remember uh, where they were. So what we're going to do, we we were up there. Um, let's start here. Uh, we're gonna keep looking for that obsidian, and if we run into uh, if we run into some fossils, we'll know we're on the fossil layer. Second here, and I'll light this up. So I'm getting lots of stone, lots of limestone, uh, bedrock. You know, yeah, all this stuff's useful. Uh, but yeah, 
There's some obsidian. Okay. All right, let's put a torch right there. Put another one. No, well, no. All right. Uh, let's see. We need. Oh, well, we're gonna use our super extractors. Oh, what's this? Bundle. One-way container to hold all the blocks that come in your that came in your bundle block. A block bundle. Heart shaped box. Love potions. Take flight with the power of love. Oh, who really wrote that? Um, can be consumed. All right, so we're going to put, um, we know that the regular extractors will give us six. The supers, uh, I, I believe there's advanced and then supers. So these ones should give us 21. We're going to go ahead and do that. Because we need some serious subsidian to get to the next level of crafting items. Little jingle there for while the extractors are working. Continue to open this up. It'd be nice to know, you know, Minecraft talked about uh, uh, elevations in the coordinates. Uh, you got your X, Y, and Z coordinates, um, with Z being in the middle, of course. Um, and uh, so you had an altitude uh, thing that was going on in Minecraft. And uh, it'd be kind of nice if there was some kind of uh, coordinate system in this. Uh, at least elevation. You got a better, you got a map system that works here than, you know, whereas Minecraft didn't, does not. Um, I'm gonna go one more that way, but so I'm not sure. You know, it's it just kind of one of those. Nice. Okay, and there's some more obsidian. We're gonna claim that. Bedrock, stone. We'll see what's behind that there. Uh, and this glove is already down under 50% after last night. Okay, this is magnetite. So we got our obsidian now, finally. Cool. Um, so that is bedrock there, that's stone, and that's limestone. And let's go more this way while we're waiting for that obsidian to extract. It's a critically damaged. Hopefully, be making a uh, obsidian mi uh, mining cell. Okay, I don't see any more. That's it. And I don't see any more obsidian in there. Okay. 
So that was three, and I think they were saying it basically three to five. Really want some stairs. All right. Um, watched a couple of videos. And one of the things that I learned, let's see, we've got these two, and let's see, mining, oh, we need to smelt that, okay. Um, one of the things they talked about, there was some tips, and um, about tracking all right so we got like um, you know we can favor it you know like this here we got our main torches here we got our stone blocks that we're using it for building and um, we're gonna favorite this because we're gonna be using these ones for a while um, you can track now if I go back out and you see over on the left it shows all the resources I need which is kind of handy. Uh, it shows I got enough bedrock. I need some stone slabs. Um, right there. Um, I need some magnite. There's some there. Uh, obsidian which I am smelting up right now. You can't use the, the obsidian by itself you gotta smelt it into uh, basically into obsidian bars which is just called obsidian um, if I look at the obsidian here it's obsidian ore um, so once you smelt it into bars it becomes obsidian uh, let's see I also need let's see I got enough of everything except the red mushrooms Yes, I do. All right. So we'll go back over here. Collect all. And take that out. And our new one is iron. Uh, used to pull lava layer or weaker materials. Seashells, glowing mushrooms, salt, rock. Okay. Well, it's going to be a little while before we get to that. We're going to need some iron in order to make the iron mining cells. So, um, let's see. What else? Um, obsidian slabs for that. Oh, uh, we want some better armor. Um, we're gonna need more leather. We need those. And rockster rock. Okay, so um, basically, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna go caving. Uh, there's that pressure plate. Pressure plate output, a true-false event when they are triggered by either an entity placed on it or a block above it. Uh, what's this? Oh, no, that's the same thing. Um, I 
I saw this and this and a delay. Where's the delay? Mob spawner. Use the spawn creatures. Yeah, I don't think so. Delay gate. So, I saw a video where the kid had made a, uh, uh, a contraption that basically duped uh, blocks. And uh, eh, we'll probably give that a try just because. Um, yeah, we're not going to worry about those. Decorative blocks. Bedrock wall, limestone wall, asphalt, okay, um, grass stairs, processed dirt slab, that's, uh, So, uh, let's put some of this stuff back in here. Okay, that's full. Uh, containers full. We're going to have to organize some stuff here pretty soon. Alright. Got our stone for putting blocks down. We got our extractor, those potions. And now we need um I want to use no let's just get rid of that. Alright, let's go back down. We're gonna do some caving, but first I wanna I wanna see how far we can go down. Silt stone. Alright. Uh I found I think that pulsing thing on the calc uh, the compass is uh pointing to an arc stone. Um sure if that's like a cave we gotta go to um, silt stone not gonna worry about that uh, one and let's take a look at like I was running up the wall or something. Um, what do we got here? Inventory. We got bedrock. So what's the siltstone and stalactites do? build another processor and another forge eventually. Um, collect water. Cooking station. Okay, we need to get to that pretty quick too. Food doesn't seem to be an issue. Food seems to be more of a... Oh, 
obsidian sword. This food seems to be more of a, a healing agent as opposed to uh, you know, like a hunger thing, like a hunger bar, like most games have. So I got some blocks here. Craigwood, red pigment, shingles, green shingles, window, lid and lattice. sword and we need armor we need more armor but we need some things so um let's mine a little bit not seeing anything now i keep seeing that arc stone to come to talk of combat. Why do I need to come? Oh, and the um, this thing up here that says 61 hours left, that is actually a store item. Um, I don't know why it looks like that, but um, I have 61 hours left, uh, and then uh, some special deal on the store goes away. That's all that is. So siltstone, uh, that doesn't. I'm not sure what that does for me. Not sure what stalactite does for me. items that you just use in recipes. Um, see, siltstone, stone, stalactite, okay. Still learning all the... making me it's making me move I will take it maybe it's useful for something Ready to take on creatures in the dark, or creatures of the dark. This video probably won't be, won't, I'm sure it won't be anywhere near as long as uh, the last one. That one was three hours, and I just, I, I just.
Yeah, I know. I probably should be getting more obsidian. You know, for various things, but uh, there's more mud. Wikipedia is your friend. Weird to have find mud this far underground. Unless there was a water source nearby, maybe that would. Uh, there's some salt rock. Uh, mud. So it's like tight mud. Bedrock, limestone, okay, those are the normal ones. Okay. Salt rock. Was that something I saw a recipe for? Maybe there was some in the wall. Oh yeah, there's some. Salt or salt, rock salt. Uh, what rocks? Uh, what salt buckets for? But we'll grab some. So that seems to be from this this area. Make sure I didn't miss any. Keep going down. Used for cr used to craft. Throw your food against the wall to get Perfect dash of flavor, maybe a cobweb or two. Uh, siltstone. Created from layers of fish. Uh, Total gross. Used for crafting. It's the lactite layer. Fossil layer. So the fossil layer has the bedrock, which is also where the. Uh, Obsidian is supposed to be. Fossil layer. Mud. 
perfect for cleansing your pores. All right, let's keep going. Stone and stalactites are just basically the, the building blocks of this. That was the arc stone again. It's basically right in front of us somewhere. We're right just to the north. Uh, I'm not sure how far. Uh, another thing I've learned is see these this uh, area, this line here. Uh, Wherever it is basically clear, that's explored area, I guess. And then um, if it, and then it's like um, if you explore all this area, it'll be like this, where it's nice and clear. And then um, if I was to go like this, this block would be fuzzy, even if I've explored it, simply because it's unloaded. So apparently. All this area, once I've explored it, will be considered loaded, which is quite a bit. Oh, let's see the little, those are probably piggies. Not sure what the red is, maybe mushrooms, something right there. is right here, so our little base is right here. And it's just like right over there. Okay, keep digging. Oh, the arc stone's kind of going off to the side now. Oh, now there's another one over that way. Oh, we got some new... Hardened lava. Indigenous rock. Okay. And. Oh, yeah, we take. Okay, so that stuff's hot. We don't want to stand on it. Uh, um, it won't do damage, like, right immediately, and it probably won't do a lot, but. We want Let's do this. Oh, what's this? Glowing mushrooms. Well, that was kind of is we're going to kind of like see if we can expose some iron because that is the next uh, we got okay we 
here. We're getting glowing mushrooms, seashells. I'm guessing we got found on the beach. Okay, so we gotta find a beach. Uh, salt rock. Okay, so that's that's where I saw that recipe. Um, obsidian slabs. We can do that, no problem. Let's find some more glowing mushrooms. Are they, um, stalactite layer? Okay, so it glows so it can read in the dark. Eat it for a bit of health or use it in potions and other kinds. Okay. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to use... So we've got to be careful where we're stepping. Let's put a torch right there. Got to keep everything lit up. And we'll put another one right there. Lava, molten rock, or anything like that around it. Is it? Okay, so this isn't hot in and of itself. It's hardened lava. doesn't seem to be hot on its own, it's just being too close to the, uh, that stuff. Okay. We're gonna use up this glove before we head up. After all, I need some more glowing mushrooms. Critically damaged. Getting real close. Another one, and then we'll go. Let's see if we can locate an arc stone.
looking for is that uh, iron, just so we can see what it looks like. And probably can't. It's supposed to be in this. Um, an extractor? No. No. Can't can't extract from it. Um so I'm wondering how you get iron if it's in a zone that you can't get anything from. Maybe iron can be extract can be uh, removed from this zone, but not so what we're going to do is we're going to have a section here going like that. This will be uh, opened up for um, looking for the mushrooms. We need like eight of them, I think it was. What was that for? For the iron mining cell. Let's, let's track that. Alright, so we're going to go up, put another torch right there, we don't want any nasty surprises when we come back down here. And I'm just holding the uh, jump button, space bar, so uh, I'd like to find some mirror, miru eyes. else we need for that. Sword. Let's dump a bunch of stuff off here. And I want some more torches. There's rods and coal. Torches, we got some potions, some extractors, we got some stone for whatever we need. Uh, now we need to make another glove. Uh, don't we need to make. Yeah, well, we need some, some mushrooms that way. Obsidian. Let's, uh, collect some more of these guys. All right, uh, stones. Labs. Let's, uh, bunch of those. Bedrock. So we need to make 
this one. Coal, yellow, we need some flowers. We need some stone slabs, which we're making. some more magnite. Um, that is on the fossil layer, which was... Fossil layer is the bedrock layer, as I recall. So we will utilize this room here as our fossil level. in the background is doing something weird. I'll be right back. All right. I had a, a bit a uh, villager walking back and forth, and it was f flashing on me. Thought thought I was being attacked or something. Um. Uh, your question is probably why do I have Minecraft loaded while I'm playing this game? I have my character is loading, keeping an area loaded. I actually have two accounts, and they're keeping some areas loaded. One is my iron farm, and this one is my villagers. Uh, so they, they grow from the babies into uh, adults. So uh, enough of that. Um, oh, there we go. This is our stairwell. And we'll put okay. Fossils come in useful for a few things. Um, there was something that required fossils themselves, and then there was something else that you can turn them into bones. As you kill stuff, you, you know, you'll get some bones. So 
I turn some of the fossils that I had gotten into bone, but probably shouldn't have done that. All right, still looking. Fossil layer. Found in shallower caves. Alright, so we're definitely on the right level. It's obviously just not something that is extremely common. Whereas stone, bedrock. Obsidian. Okay. Um, take that. Definitely. Take it all. super extractors, because the regular ones, I don't want to use them up. Or I don't want to use them on obsidian and stuff. I want to start using these supers. So, what do we need? Super. Um, super ones need a recipe. Find the recipe super extractor. All right, let's look in the Wikipedia. Super extractor. No, 
not to be ex ex confused with the excavator. Uh, and there's a difference between those two. Uh, do -do 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 -do. Okay, every... So the free login chest says every four hours, but I'm not sure about that because it said two hours for me. Uh, maybe it's because I'm still within the 72-hour thing. I don't know. Uh, these chests randomly contain one of four possible item sets, while the most common type of login chest contains sup two super extractors. The uncommon two... The rare will provide you with five super extractors at a time. Recipe. That's what I want. Okay. So there's recipes, and it looks like you basically gain pages of the recipe and maybe put them together. Um, treasure chests or creatures. Treasure chests. Wood. Okay, there's some different kinds of treasure chests. I saw a video on this. Wood treasure chest, stone, obsidian, iron, Diamond. That looks like it. So the super extractor, the rare, okay, the rare crafting recipe for the super extractor can solely be obtained from, a, from the very dangerous things. That's one of the mobs that spawn in the on corrupted blocks in darkness during day and night. Yeah, I'm not quite ready to take on things, I'm guessing. Um, Okay, so it looks like that's not going to be something we're going to get right away. Uh, how about the advanced? We need obsidian slabs and stone slabs to make the advanced ones. Alright, so we will leave this obsidian here for the future. it. Take the fossils, more fossils, more fossils. Alright. Go up. Yeah. 
half. But we need to upgrade it. That's the stone one. We won't throw this one away. We'll, we'll put it in the chest and save it. Craft one of those. And... I want to equip it. sword. Uh, I wonder if there's a ranged weapon. Maybe the glove. Maybe the glove is up. Uh, let's see. I want to change this to tracking. Take this one off. Um, so far... Swords. So there seems to be swords, but not ranged weapons. Maybe that'll happen in the future. Um, grab those. Okay, so. figure out what that arc stone thing is that keeps flashing on the cursor. I'm gonna find out what that is. Alright, so... So we got our regular ones, which we probably won't use. Got some stone slabs here. Thirty-seven in the morning. Let's go get us some. I got some potions. Got some torches. I need to find some new creatures to kill. Somewhere over here. Oh, there's a spot.
coal. here. Stone. So this seems to be an empty thing. Um, stone slabs, obsidian slabs. gonna get uh, you know what let's uh, check yes three chests 41 minutes all right so it is Resistance potions. Okay. It's useful to know. Alright, now let's take a look. There was something over here before. So let's uh let's go take a look. Seems to be like an infinite water source type of thing going on here. Maybe. Which is useful. Um, see if I can figure out the mechanics on that at some point. Sides of the wind. it is, I don't want it to get near me until I've had a chance to kill one. <laughs> yeah. Um. Now do I get to keep my stuff when I die? I wonder... Oh, 
there's a couple of them. So, exposure to sun, killed it. Teleporter to another. Okay. And this was kind of annoying. Tabbing between the two, and I kept bringing up the wrong thing. Uh, let's take another potion. They can jump two blocks. Okay. Dark in here, grass. Probably lighten it up a bit more than I need to, but Blocks. Doesn't hurt that pointing at a block tells you what it is. That's a chest right there.
better torches. Like some kind of pig. First adventure down. Uh, we got some coal, crystal shards, some leather. All right, got some water, grass, magnite, bedrock, regular stone, some limestone. Okay, stun bomb can be thrown. Uh, large rockster can be consumed. We didn't get anything really that we we're looking for. Um, cause we want the mirror. Uh, let's look those up. Miru. Miru I. Okay. They're obtained from mirus. Either by killing them or taming them and harvesting from them when you when they are your pets. So you can have them as a pet and harvest these things off of them. That'd be kind of cool. They mainly spawn on stalactite or silt stone in the darkness. They can ascend from this lair easily so it can even come out of caves and to the surface. Yeah, but if sunlight hits, they will burst into blue frame blue blue flames and perish. So those things that I killed, or that the sunlight killed, have those eyes that I need. Alright, and I definitely need this, that sword. So we're gonna, if we find another one, we're gonna take it out. Um, I'm kind of curious what the other piggy looks like, what that other pig was. And we want our sword out. There he is. Can 
Some more leather. Always useful. Okay. Let's light up some more space here. Oh, there's another. Killing some stuff. Come here. the guy
that was. Is that Arctic? Okay, I'm gonna need some more potions. Let's, uh. That was our first foray into caving, and we got ourselves a chest, killed a few mobs. Um, let's see. Perfect as ice cubes, as long as you don't mind eye poop, eye goop in your drink. Can't be using quick. Um, and these are not the ones I want for what I'm building. Okay. Um. Mill Rockster. Mill Rockster. I'm looking this up in the Wikipedia. We didn't seem to kill that one, but we'll go back as soon as it's daylight and double check that. Uh, we'll drop Rockster Vault, Rock, Coral. Magdite and mud. And some various. Much like the red daytime rockster. Okay, so we need to find. Uh, let's see. 20 hits with a stone sword, which is what I have. So I don't think I hit him quite that many times. Four hits with an obsidian sword. Yeah, I definitely want my obsidian sword. Alright. Um, throw all this stuff away, and let's pull that back out. What is that? What is it? Some kind of potion. Uh, perfume is part of an attraction and fear system. When you use the effect for the last 30 seconds, will make ordinary rocksters close to you start to swing and follow your player character. They will not stay peaceful when you attempt to tame them, though, and they will not be pacified. You have already angered or attacked them, at least not currently. Night rock stars are not a f okay. All right, and we need more potions. Oh, we got three new, pe new recipes. What do we get here? Back to the potions here in a second. Oh, building blocks. Tile wood floor, wood roof, and a stone floor. That looks kind of cool. Um, oh, I can make grass stairs. Uh, 
useful in there, because it's not useful when we're exploring. Uh, process. Collect all that. Mushrooms and flowers. And what's this one? Advanced health. It's a sapling. There's a flower. No more in here. And more flowers, more flowers. the glowing mushrooms. We're going to use the red ones. There's some more flowers. Alright. Um, Favorite. What's the big one? That's region. Boss hog tusk. Yeah, we don't have any of those. So I'll keep using these smaller ones. Add that to favorites. So we still need mirror eyes. Um, should be able to make some stairs now. stairs in.
for So we can go there, see what's what. We should go like right in here. We can see what this is, what this is, and what this is. Maybe get some. So first thing we're going to do is uh, we need some more potions. So we need some more flowers.
just gonna keep building up our supply of potions. Should be enough potions for a little bit. Um, how about right back. I'm gonna let this do its thing and make some torches and then I'm gonna start heading south. Alright, uh, we're heading south. I'm in the process of just picking up stuff as I go. Uh, I've gotten some honeycomb, some more uh, mushrooms, uh, some yellow flowers, found some more turnips. Uh, just general stuff, you know, that keep making some potions. Just looking around, 
see if there's anything else out here. A rock star. All right, we did that without taking any damage. And there's some rockster rocks. Cool. And what's this coral? All right. Let's take that. And let's see. We need for our armor. We need two, one there, one there, and one there. So we need at least one more rockster rock. All right. There's some more mushrooms over here. Is there some more? I thought I saw some flowers. Oop. They seem to be non hostile. Shells. Get some of these. What's this thing? Pebble. Pebbles, pebble. some sand here in a little bit. Oh, some mushrooms. So, we are right here. We're going to end up going over this direction and exploring that. So, we'll go that direction.
she'll get there. Have some music going on here. Uh, audio. Music. So, I don't mind music, but that's distracting. Okay, what do we got here? We got some flowers. Covered shrub. Savannah grass. Mushrooms over there, but not that much. Flowers. was that it just hit me he's not very friendly is he Is that? Can we kill it? Doesn't seem to want to let us get close to it. Bugger. Okay, what? Arc stones. 
gunpowder and some coal. Yeah, we want that. All right, so I saw something in one of the videos about those guys. All right, I heard something about these blue guys. Maybe that is what those are. Ooh, what's going on over there? Uh, these turnips. crazy because we're out exploring as opposed to uh, trying to kill everything. We got the rocks to rocks that we need. Uh, let's take a potion. Explosive bomb. Alright, it's getting late. Where are we at? We need to go north. I want to get some sand. Grab any jungle wood. I don't think it really makes much difference what kind of wood it is. Definitely want lots of flowers, though. What 
is that? for glass. Canyon stone, sandstone. And what the heck was that guy? Sandstone, cactus. Can I grow that stuff? Oh, what's this? Shouldn't have done that. Probably, I probably knew that it was bad. Now, do I get to keep my stuff? You discovered death. Follow the skull icon on your compass to find your death statue with all your items. Touch your touchstone serves as your respawn location. All right. Alright, so I'm back at my base, and the only thing on me is stuff in my hot bar, so. Go. 
here's some head lettuce. grab our stuff, finish exploring a little bit, and then teleport back. That's what I should have done, but saw the cactus, and what's this guy? He's a tough guy. Is he still following me? There's another one. Okay, so they're hostile. So go around him. Uh, where is... Right here somewhere, I think. Devil things. Some kind of bird. Some more dust of this. Alright. Let's go skirt this area right here.
build some more storage, I think, and um, kind of get organized on my gear here, on my stuff. Um, Semi-productive. Uh, we did get. Uh, can make a bunch more potions here. Something that I was I can do with that. Um, that I was as soon as I had made the uh, death statue. Per permanent reminder of your embarrassing defeat. Yeah. Uh, tail. Um, Parch wood. Thought I got some cactus. Like cactus, but oh, there it is. Nature's acupuncture. All right. Uh, so I gotta kind of prioritize some stuff. Uh, we've got a few things. Um, armor. Yeah, we can make some armor now. Some better armor. Um, that done. And the sword, I really need to get go after. With the three pieces of armor upgraded, uh, I can maybe go back down and try and get these Mir Muri Miru eyes. Uh, I only need, I just need four of them. And then I'd be able to make my obsidian sword. And then I should be able to really go to town on some stuff. Um, then the next one would be the iron sword. But uh, we won't get to that just yet. And farm wheat. Craft and plow. Plow. Collect wheat seeds. Not sure where to get those. Maybe the tall grass? Um, no. Shred leaves. Lettuce seeds. Pigments. Turnip seeds. Shred leaves. Yeah, I still don't know where to get the, the wheat from. Um... So, I'm going to call this one, and uh, I'll come back to it again, maybe just before I go to work for a little bit, or, eh, probably not, I'll probably, maybe in the morning when I come home from work, and uh, this is kind of fun, it, uh, you know, it's different, you know, I've played a lot of Minecraft, and so anything that's, eh, it can be similar, as long as it's different at the same time, you know, um, so I'll get some, I'll get a few things done, like the some chests organized, and uh, then we need to make some more uh, advanced uh, extractors because we're down to three. And uh, go do some more cave spelunking, I guess. Uh, we got lots of potions now, and. Um, as soon as we, as soon as we get that sword and our gear, uh, what did I need for this? Got that, got that, got that. Oh, some more mirror, mirror eyes. So I need six mirror eyes. I've got what I need for this stuff here. Some serious 
armor upgrades. Maybe I can get those mirror eyes. All right. Uh, if you liked the video, please be sure to like, subscribe, and comment, please. And let me know how to get rid of that wind. Is that the ambient sound? Um, you know, I mean, I hate turning sounds down except, like, music. Um, I never know, you know, it doesn't tell you what each one does. And that, so, uh, talk to you next time. Thank you.